Hey guys, welcome to Grad Coach TV. My name's Derek, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fast track your reference building in Zotero. Now, if you're not familiar with Zotero or you're still building your reference lists manually, be sure to check out our other video about Zotero. I'll link to it below this one. Right, so if you're using Zotero, as I recommend you do, you'll know that the hardest part, or at least the most time consuming part, is building your initial reference list. You also know that any mistakes you make at this stage carry right through to your final document. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fast track that process by using Google Scholar to auto populate Zotero with all the initial data for journal articles, for textbooks, or normal books. Let's take a look. Right, so the first thing you'll need to do is download the Google Chrome browser if you're not already using it. So if you're using Firefox or if you're using uh, Internet Explorer, you'll need to download Chrome. You can do that by just Googling Google Chrome and you'll get to a page that looks like this. Install the browser and open it up. Straightforward process. The next thing you need to do is install the Google Scholar button in Chrome. This is a free plugin and you can just search for it on Google, but I'll also include the link below this video. It'll look something like this. You'll click on the link and you'll be brought to the Chrome Web Store and you simply add the button to Google Chrome. Once you've done that, you'll notice that you have a new button in the top right hand corner of Google Chrome. And if you hover over it, you'll see that it says Google Scholar button. So now you can start finding the references that you need to build up your reference list in Zotero. I'll just type a keyword because I'm not looking for any particular article. Obviously you would know the title of what you're looking for, but I'll just use a keyword and search for literature. If you search for the exact title, chances are the very first result that comes up at the top here will be the one that you're after. I'm using a very generic keyword, so I'm getting a few different results. Now, once you've identified the article that you're looking for, you look at the little inverted comma button to the right here, and you just click on it once, and you'll notice that it brings up the full reference in various formats, the first being MLA, the second being APA, Chicago, Harvard, etc. Now, this is great because it gives you the reference, but this is still not good enough because you would need to manually copy paste this into Zotero and you'd likely make mistakes along the way. So what we're going to do is export this directly into Zotero. So to do that, you just click the RefMan button at the bottom section here, bottom right. Make sure you click RefMan and not RefWorks or any of the other buttons. And when you do that, it will automatically download a file to your computer. This file is a reference file. You'll notice it's a .ris file. You click on that and immediately Zotero will ask you if you want to import the file. You say OK and you will now have something that looks like this. And first thing right up top is the new reference that you just imported. Now, if you want to import it into a particular folder, just make sure that before you open that RIS file, that you have gone and opened Zotero and you are in the folder that you wanted to import to. Whatever folder is open when you open the RIS file or the RIS file is the folder that this new reference will be placed into. So you'll notice if we click on here that we have a populated reference as opposed to a set of blank fields. And you'll also notice that not everything is populated here. So by no means does this do all the work for you, but it certainly removes some of the uh, work involved in rewriting or copy pasting from a study guide, etc. So you just want to do a final once over, have a look, see if there's anything important missing. Uh, do you need a volume number? Do you need an addition? Do you need a place, for example? Uh, and just do a quick fact check on this. Don't trust Google to be 100% accurate all the time, particularly on less popular articles. There tends to be either missing data or slightly incorrect data. One last thing that you want to do is just check the format of the author. Now you'll notice here it has full surname and full name. Depending on what format you want, you might want to just change that to an initial F instead of Francis. And that's it, the fast track way to build your reference list in Zotero by using Google Scholar. Again, if you're not familiar with Zotero, please check out our other video on Zotero. It covers the basics of what is Zotero for, how does it work, how do you set up references, and we'll also be creating a few more Zotero videos over time, so subscribe to our channel for more. 
So I really hope that this video has been of value to you. Remember, if you have any MBA related questions of your own, you can submit them for free at grad.coach forward slash QA. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're also on Facebook and LinkedIn. I'll include the links to those below this video. Lastly, if you feel like you could use a helping hand on your MBA journey, please get in touch with us for one-on-one -on -one personalized MBA coaching, tutoring, and mentoring. Just drop us an email on hello at grad.coach. That's hello at grad.coach. I'll leave a link to that below this video as well. Thanks for watching and good luck.